M G M M G. This is a tutorial video about how to do grams to moles to moles of something else to grams of the, that thing. And this is A, that's the first one you're going to get. And there are a couple of these because this is a very important concept to master. Here's our question. It says, how many grams of water are made from the reaction of 9.54 grams of hydrogen gas, where hydrogen gas is going to be H2, as we've talked about before. And we're starting with our grams of hydrogen, and we're going to do stoichiometry. We're going to do unit conversions, conversion factors. All these things are ways of saying the same thing. And we're going to end up with grams of water. And we can see that we've got our water over here and our hydrogen over here. And we're going to, again, start with our 9.54. Start always with a number that's in the problem. We are blessed because there's only one number in the actual problem statement up here. And we have a balanced reaction. And just as a side hint, anytime there's a balanced reaction in a problem, 99% of the time, you're going to need a mole-to-mole -mole conversion factor to solve the problem. That's just how we roll around here. And this is going to be a nice long picket fence because we're going to have three unit conversions from grams to moles, moles to moles of something else, and then moles to grams. I'm sorry, that was off the screen there. So, something like this. <clears throat> Anytime you're given grams of something, turn it into moles. Of course, we've got our handy periodic table. We have 2 times 1.008. That's going to be 2.016 grams of hydrogen for every one mole. And here, the mole-to-mole -mole conversion factor is going to use the coefficients for every 2 moles of hydrogen reacted and we don't write the reacted part usually. We have two moles of H2O, in this case liquid, produced. So this is our mole-to-mole -mole conversion factor built upon or built from coefficients in the balanced reaction. If you're playing along at home, unit-wise, we've canceled out our units of grams of H2, we've canceled out our units of moles of H2, and currently, our answer is in moles of H2O, but we want grams of water or grams of H2O. So, to get grams from moles, we need the molar mass. The molar mass of H2O from the periodic table, 18.02 grams of H2O. And that's by adding up the two H's and one O. That's our setup. Multiply the numbers across the top, divide by the numbers on the bottom. I think I've said this before, but I like to go 9.54 divided by 2.016 times 2 divided by 2, those two cancel out, times 18.02. So let's go ahead and do it. 9.54 divided by 2.016 times 2 divided by 2, so skip times 18.02 and I get 85.3 grams of H2O to three significant figures, 85.3 And that is my answer that I'm going to put in here. There's, yes, in this box somewhere down here.